Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Hack RF1 with Mayhem firmware version 2.01. So mine's brand new, it did not have an SD card in, so therefore I have to reload the firmware. But luckily you can do this via a browser very quickly. So if you're not sure where the SD card goes, format it first, FAT32 in your PC, and then pop it into this device. You'll see it just pops in just there where my finger is, where the two buttons are. It's at the end where you have one antenna on mine. So the antenna end, and I've got the, the jazzy one with the nice case, okay? So there you are. Pop your SD card in, and then connect, whilst you're there, connect your USB cable into the bottom slot micro SD. Make sure you get it the right way around. Okay, if you've done that correctly and you've got the other end into your PC, then at the bottom, where your window squares are, go right click, device manager, and just check your port number. So where it says ports on the left, just give that a click, two clicks, and it, mine is USB serial device COM7. So just remember COM7, you shouldn't need to look it up, but I'm just showing you anyway. Now in your browser, type in nice and easy, hackrf.app, and you'll end up with this window. And very quickly, let me just disconnect mine. You will see this window here. So plug in your device. Now mine might automatically connect because it's already been connected, but plug it in anyway. And then select connect and see the way at the top here. It says COM7, click that and then go connect. And it's gonna load up and you, you will get a virtual screen of your porter pack. So if I just press the on my device, it should, there is a slight delay, but it should switch over. Okay, but you don't need to use the device. You can use the actual screen of your PC and look how handy it is. You've got up and down functions, right and left, you know, all the functions you need, you've got them there, DFU, reboot, and it says here live screen. But if we scroll down, one of the nice things you're gonna have is the ability, sorry about that, to scroll up and you will see manage firmware. Click that and you can click the up to update to the latest stable releases or update to the nightly re release. Then you'll have the, the, the most current. So we're going to click that and it will just do it for you. Keep an eye on your device because it will load and then your device will give you a couple of prompts as well. And this is gonna to add to your SD card the some of the latest apps, maybe not all of the latest apps. You can see it go in there. And then it will tell you when to reboot. Device will then restart. And if it doesn't, you can reboot it yourself. Remember to turn it on, it's one press of the black turning knob to turn it off it's two presses but it looked like it's done the, t the two reboots anyway so now if we press the middle button and then we'll get a close-up on the device and we'll see what apps we've got okay let's press the middle button and we're on our apps and let's go down to I'll go down to utilities, press, and let's go to, we said we were going to find Pac-Man. So did you see the way I'm navigating left, up and down? And if you ever want to go back, go right to the top and you'll have a back arrow show up here if you need to go back. Press the middle button here. Okay, but we're going to go down to utilities, enter, middle button, we're going to go across and we're going to go to Pac-Man and press enter. Now, I've definitely not done this yet. Um, I And there it goes. <laughs> oh, God. And it does say demo. Press it. Oh, I'm daddy. Paused. I'm now... Um, sorry about the weird glare. I haven't played Pac-Man for a while. All right, there you are. So there you are, so we can do that and then let's try and back out of that.
press middle and it pauses. I just rebooted it. <laughs> I want to try to get out of it. I'm sure it's simple. Let it come on, and then as soon as you see the mayhem screen. Now remember, this thing, this device is packed with features. So if we just go to, let's go to the receive menu. So go right, left, receive, ADSB. Press that, and you'll, you know, if you've got an antenna and you're in range, you'll be able to receive that information from the aeroplanes. Go up, then across. Press enter. Go to the right. You've got the boats. You go to the right again. You've got APRS, and if you turn this knob you can choose the APRS frequency in your country that's the right one for me and you need to be in range of an APRS repeater as well and again go to the top and then you can go back there now going across if we just go to the ones that I have actually learnt that one is the volume you, of course, you need to add a speaker inside the device or use your headset stroke speaker. The next one along is like a dimmer. And then the, the furthest one is to show that we've got a good SD card in there. That's the one I've learnt. Let's just press the ones I haven't learnt. Enable DC voltage to your antenna. That was that one. I'm going to go no. looks like you can connect a camera that's what it looks like to me that's sleep mode so the screen goes dark you've just enabled stealth mode i don't want to do that so uh, i'm gonna go try and come out of that that's we've done that one already haven't we so okay so there's some things that now to go back press aprs We've got the Bluetooth settings there. Not used it yet, but there it is. Picking up Bluetooth and it's even getting, look, it's getting the sort of Bluetooth numbers and we'll do some pairing, but you know, I've not had this device very long. Love that. Audio, that's picking up. We've, we have got a preset speakers in there. And if you select there, you could type in the frequency, done. Select the middle button. If you go down, you can change the step. That's so when you change frequency, because you go up, you can turn the knob and change. If you select it, I'm pretty sure you can select the bandwidth as well. Let's go, there it is there. So when, you, when you're on this window, just go back one and you can start selecting the bandwidth. Now I've been looking for 25 for ham radio. And to me, it's a bit out, it's doing 16, 11. And A, I can't find ham radio. Now what I can find, if I go up one is NFM, narrow FM, wide FM, which it does pick up ham radio, but it's too wide. And then you've got special, maybe it's in there, bandwidth, could be there. See the way we're adjusting it? I will try special, look, two meters, five meters. So yeah, we're gonna try that for ham radio, but it looks pretty cool back uh, earth meter I haven't done that so someone tell me what that is level all right let's pick it up and you've got all these different levels there different modes I can see there different bandwidths go back pox sag and I've done that before that's pager messages and I've actually got a pager here so we'll give that a go not today Radio, radios NDE, more detailed information. I mean, the whole thing about this is that there's all this spectrum of radio waves out there and this, is, this, is, this device can pick them all up, including your car keys, your remote controls, obviously ham radio, broadcast radio, APRS, signals from boats and aeroplanes. You know, that's the whole point here. I've not used search. It looks like there's some search there. I mean, it's, it's a real dream gadget, sub gigahertz. So yeah, it picks up all your Wi-Fi signals as well. And you, I have bought the kit with all the antennas. Weather, fox hunt, definitely not use that, but that's like a location type thing. 
you know, where there's two of you with a device and you can hunt each other. Proto view. What's that? AFSK. That's some sort of decoding. MRF. TPMS. All stuff to learn about. I'm sure there's a very good manual. Then we'll go to the... I think well, we've done everything now, haven't we, on this section? That's the, It's called the receive section. Now, transmit, obviously you want to be really careful because you, you've got ADSB here, you've got airplanes. Um, APRSTX is okay if you've got ham radio license. Bluetooth transmit Morse code, okay? That's pretty good that it does that. CW words per minute, that's all recognizable terms. Ook. Go back. Poxag TX. RDS. Oh, that's interesting. So RDS, I would say, is the information you get from broadcast radio. Soundbird. And they've packed a lot into this. SSTV, that's a transmission of television. It looks like you've got to load the app for that. You know. Touch tune. Okay. Burger pager. Is that for McDonald's? <laughs> key fob, yeah, we've heard about that. Of course, keep it legal. So I thought I'd show you through, show you how to just load the app. Jammer, and of course, all this kind of stuff. Don't use it, you know. It's, it's a gimmick to look at it, that's what I think. But never use it. So we just quickly go back to utilities. Oh, you've got settings menu there. Calibration, converter, audio. Okay. You're always going back to the top. Like so. Code up frequency, correct. P memory, radio, SD card. You can actually turn the SD card. You press that into like so that you don't have to take it out you enable says it here you enable not the high speed but there's another setting that you enable and it will it could be this and it will um you don't have to take it out you just plug the usb cable in and you can read the sd card user interface you can disable the touch screen by the looks of it and other functions Radio, let's, I haven't done, the, have I done the radio one? Okay, different settings with the radio. Menu colors, auto start, different themes as well. I've got gray on at the moment. We can change it, so let's do, let's do red. No, yeah, red. Go save, and there you are, we've got red now. And they're constantly working on this, aren't they? Constantly. You can turn it back to the original Hack RF mode, which looks like if we go like that. And to come out, I think you press the top one. I did that earlier and it reboots. Reboot and DFU mode at the top. Go back to utilities. You've got Tetra, Tetris, sorry. That's a game. Go back. Let it reboot. Utilities, there's a microphone there. Utilities. Let's do war, war drive map. Is that a game? I'm not really sure. And you know, even with some of this receive stuff, we go back to receive. ADS, ADSB, there's maps and everything, you know, I don't know, you know, I haven't used it yet. So yeah, I hope this helps you get started and uh, having fun to turn it off, two clicks, turn it on, one click. The antennas at the bottom are for, for a clock, external clock, 3.5 jack, the speaker, which we're eventually going to fit. I've ordered a really cheap speaker. I'll put a link in the description. 
it's a lightweight almost like a toy speaker that I'm pretty sure is going to connect here but don't you know let me do it first the bottom part is the hack RF board the top part is the porter pack that someone made really it's called it, to make it portable so it meant you could go out and about and and track different frequencies uh, without having to have a computer basically because the old board works fine with a computer lots more to learn and this not this turning knob turn you know adjusts a lot more function than you than you think so i'm having great fun with it there's a built-in battery there to, to keep the time very easy to dismantle just four screws and it opens up like a sandwich uh, sma antenna at the top and i would get if you're going to buy it because they're going to tax you and all the rest of it it's going to come from china probably get all the extra antennas get everything because for an extra 15 pound you get everything which is what i've done it's all in a big big pile just here all antennas you know wi-fi antennas five gigahertz antennas two meters 70 sems ham antennas like i've literally got um so much stuff here to tinker with her and i'm having great fun it's about 150 pound uk thanks for watching my youtube channel bye for now